Hey there, it's me, Kelly, the Take Action Mom. How are you doing today? Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to create those real pretty long collage images that you see on Pinterest. They're very um, attractive to the eye. They, they draw a lot of clicks and repins. And I've had a few people asking me, how do you make those? So I thought I'd make a little video and show you how to do it. The first thing we're going to do over here, there's a couple ways that you can do this. But for this video, in order to try to keep it a little shorter than most of my videos, I'm going to really try. We're just, I'm just going to show you one way, and that's using the collage feature function here on PicMonkey. So we're just going to click boom on collage, and then we're going to resize this. Because this obviously is a square, it's 2000 by 2000, and that's not really the size we want for Pinterest. The, the optimal width for an image on Pinterest is 700. So let's make sure that this little padlock is open and that allows us to change these. And I'm going to put 700 right there. 2000 is a great width or a great length. So I'm going to do that. Now we've got 700 width from side to side and 2000 length from top to bottom. Now it looks kind of goofy with our little uh, images like that. So I'm just going to take one out and the next thing we're going to do, now I want at least three images here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one here and let me also say normally you would go here to open photos and it would take you to your own computer and you would open a bunch of pictures that you want to use in this. The three or four whatever that you want to use. But to save time I'm just going to use the ones that PicMonkey so generously provides for us. So let me take this, you click and hold and drag it over there's one. We'll get this little whippersnapper, drag him over there. <clears throat> and we'll say, well, that's not really much of a collage and not really what I had in mind for Pinterest. So let's drag another picture over here. And you can see you can pull it in in between those two, or you can put it on top, or you can take it down to the bottom. And you see when it puts in that little gray bar? That's when you know it's ready to drop. So let's just drop it in the middle there. Now we've got three. Now one other thing you can do here, if you'd like, is come over here to swatches, grab one of these swatches, and pull it over here too. <clears throat> now this, you can use that as a place to write your, your, your text, or you can have it a blank space like this, just an empty white space. So that's right there, boom, you're done. It's ready to go but you want to put your text in it and there's no way to do that here on the collage site so what we're going to do, oh and let me show you real quick come over here, let's see here you can change the background color why are you making this you can change the background color by pulling this around or if you know the hex code you can type it in here or you can use the little dropper and wherever you slide the dropper that's the color it's going to choose see so we're just going to stick with white <clears throat> and then uh, you can round the corners if you'd like see how that makes the the corners here have now got a nice little roundness to them that's kind of groovy if that's what you like you can change the amount of space the white space I like to make it pretty thin and then uh, unless you want to put color in here that's that's it we're done so but I'm not gonna save it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here on edit collage open an editor and then we can come over here to the text and I can put in add text and then say day at the beach Oops, there we go. Bring it over here. We will make this so that make the box so that it goes from one side to the other. Then center the text in that box. And then we're gonna make the text a little bigger. Day at the beach. There we go. 
Now you can also go in there, you can add your URL wherever you would like. But basically there you go, it's ready to go and that's all there is to it, creating a nice collage to share on Pinterest. At this point you would just click, click save and save to your computer and you're ready to go. So I hope that that helped you figure that out and um, if you have any questions please do ask in the in the um, comments of this video or if you're seeing this on my blog you can ask on the blog and don't forget if you're not using PicMonkey you can click on my link which is an affiliate link it's free unless you decide to upgrade to the pro version which I forget what they call it but um, uh, anyways if you use my link and you decide to upgrade later I'd make a little money and that's pretty awesome and I would think you're pretty cool so there you go take care and I'll see you next time bye bye